Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. Today's recipe, I'm gonna show you how you can make a special weeknight Mexican dinner for your family with a twist. I'm gonna be making a roasted vegetable taco recipe over here where I'm gonna be roasting some potatoes, cauliflower, bell peppers and sweet corn and tossing it in a wedge mayo and then serving it along with some achari mayo and a cheesy garlic mayo on top of crispy tacos. So without wasting any time, let me just dive right in and show you the small and simple steps that will be required to make this delicious recipe. So to begin roasting my vegetables, I have two pans that are preheating here and the first step is to roast the vegetables separately, individually and then bring it all together with some mayo. So I'm going to be using the garlic and oregano spread to uh, roast the vegetables and it's packed with a lot of flavour and taste and it makes uh, the vegetables taste really nice. So the first step is to roast the potatoes. I'm going to allow the spread to melt and once the spread melts, I'm going to add in the potatoes. I've diced the potatoes and kept it. I'm going to add it in. I'm going to sprinkle some salt and allow the potatoes to roast on medium high heat until it is just about cooked. So the good part about the spread is that, you know, it is uh, enriched with omega-3 and has 0% cholesterol, so it makes your vegetables not only taste nice but healthy too. Great, so I'm just going to keep uh, the heat to high until the potatoes start sweating and after that I'm going to cover the pan and uh, roast the potatoes until it's, you know, completely cooked through. Now into my other pan I'm going to add in some spread as well, the same spread which is flavoured with garlic and oregano. I'm going to quickly melt it and I'm going to add in my coloured bell peppers. I have some red, green and, uh, and um, yellow peppers over here. I'm going to roast them for a bit until you know they soften just a little bit. And once they soften just a little bit, I'm going to add in the cauliflower and we'll cook them all together until the cauliflower is nicely cooked through and roasted. Okay, so we'll allow the bell peppers to soften and sweat just a little bit. It takes less than a minute for that. Okay. So while this is done, I'm just going to toss the, these potatoes for a bit and I'm gonna turn up the heat so they start roasting. And once you notice, the potatoes, the potatoes will also start sweating a little bit. And uh, when they are sweating, um, I'm going to cover it and turn the heat to medium high, not completely low and roast the potatoes until they are done. Great. So now coming over to my bell peppers, they've started to sweat and I'm going to go ahead and add my cauliflower at this stage. I have some cauliflower and I'm going to sprinkle some salt. The spread already has a little salt but I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle just a little bit and I'm going to sprinkle in some red chili flakes as well and to the potatoes I'm going to go ahead and, and before I cover it I'm going to go ahead and add in some cumin powder okay Great. that's it so I'm just going to give this a stir and cover the potato and allow it to steam cook until it's done now coming over to my cauliflower I'm going to turn the heat to high and um, once again uh, you'll notice that the bell peppers are softening. I'm going to go ahead and cover this pan and allow the cauliflower to steam cook until it's done completely. So I'm going to open both my pans and notice yeah, it's beautifully roasted and the potatoes have got a nice colour as well and it's just perfect and give it a taste and see if you need some salt. Um, I'm just going to stir it and it looks perfect and if you like sort of take a bite into it you'll know that it's done i'm just going to quickly take a bite mm, perfect the flavors from the oregano the spread that we use as well as the cumin powder yum and here the bell peppers have got a nice color roasted color and so have the cauliflower the cauliflower is not completely soft it's firm and yet cooked and this is how we want so now what i'm going to do is to actually toss in my roasted potatoes into my cauliflower and I'm going to add in the corn, sweet corn. You can also add like broccoli or any other vegetable of your choice. And it's, uh, uh, you can add some sautéed spinach without chopping it, like full leaves, sauté it and add it. And that will also taste very nice into the roast vegetable taco. So give it a stir. And um, then I'm going to add in this mayo, which is going to add in a creaminess to the entire roasted vegetables. Okay, so I'm just going to take a spoon and 
add in this veg mayo just a nice big dollop and I'm gonna stir it in so the good part about these mayos is not just adds to the creaminess but it is also fortified with vitamin A, D and E um, making it not just tasty but healthy too Great, so and notice that light creaminess that we add. Typically in tacos, you add sour cream, or you add salsa, or you add avocados to give it that creamy texture. But here, this mayo is just quick and simple, and it just does the trick. And if you wish, you can add in a squeeze of lemon to add that sourness uh, which the sour cream brings in. So otherwise, if you don't want it, you can just leave it just like that. That's it, so this is done. So I have my crispy taco shells, and I'm gonna show you how to fill them and put them all together. So I have some crispy corn taco shells here to which I'm just going to go ahead and fill my roasted creamy vegetables and gently just put it inside so that they uh, hold itself and uh, it's important that you serve these immediately as soon as you put them in uh, because otherwise it will soften. So just keep the filling ready and the tacos ready and once you're ready to serve just go ahead and um, fill it into these crispy taco shells and then uh, serve it for your parties or a special weeknight dinner. What I'm going to do that now that I've filled it is to drizzle in some achari mayo into one and um, um, cheesy garlic mayo into the other. So I'm just going to add in a little bit of the achari mayo and that's it. So it gives that extra creaminess and that's the cheesy garlic mayo. And into my next one, I'm going to go ahead and add in my achari meal. Maybe we'll add in some roasted peppers to add some color on the top. And, and some corn. A little more bit of some vegetable. So that's it. It's as simple as this. I hope you enjoyed watching this recipe. Just roasting the vegetables, all your favorite vegetables, tossing it in some veg mayo and then a drizzle of that achari or the cheesy garlic on the top just makes a delicious weeknight dinner. Give it a try. When you do, don't forget to share your feedback in the comments below because I'll always be looking to hear back from you. So until then, until next time, happy cooking and healthy eating.